Hi, thank you for checking out this video. Um, I just want to make a quick video on this uh, wake up call and I want to plead with you, please share this video. Um, hardly do I plead or ask people to share this video, but you'll be doing yourself a favor. You'll be doing your family a favor. You'll be doing the world a favor. You'll be doing God a service by sharing this video. Please share this video wide. Let people see this video. Let people see this video. Please share this video. Uh, this is just a wake up call for our parents to so wake up everyone that has a child you could wake up that has good thoughts and good plans for their children that actually love their children not those who hate them you know and I, I've often said it you know um, times without number that evil thrives in the society in a church in anywhere in the family name it evil only thrives when good people keep silent or when they speak and do nothing. That's when evil is thriving. I'm going to share you a very short clip of a woman who posted a terrible thing she saw at the library in Miami. But before I share that, I want you to understand what Satan is doing. This is a call to parents to deliver their children from Satan. A call to parents to save your child from Satan. Satan has them already. It's you to wake up now and say to Satan, you can't have my child. Now, this is um, what the Word of God says in Proverbs um, 22, verse 6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Parents trivialize this scripture. Don't even pay attention to it. They don't train their children. They only read them like animals. They, 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 they nurse them up like animals take them to the best clinic, take them to the best schools, buy them the best things, take them for eat, eat, eat now for vacations here and there. You're just wearing them, but there is no training. You're not training them. You're not giving them moral training. You're not giving them trainings about life that will help them to stand. You're not spending time with them. You jump from work to work, drop them in one daycare to one school to one whatever. Can, just at the end of the day, you carry them, you bring them in the house and you sleep and you don't have time for these children. And Satan understands this principle. And Satan is busy training up your child. Satan is busy building the foundation of your child. There is a foundational state of a child. Whatever that is put in that child at that age becomes foundation. And that child will not depart from that as that child grows up. That's what Satan is doing with our children. Busy building the foundation. Busy taking your child from, 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 from age zero to age seven to above that and building the foundation and the structure of your child. And you are busy chasing dollars. Parents, wake up and deliver your children from the hands of Satan. I will let you watch this video. Just watch this little clip from this woman who is outraged, who is disgusted by what she saw in Miami Public Library. Enjoy, watch the video. This is what I found in the library um, on Kauai. Mm -hmm. And it's really atrocious. These are just some of the few books I found. I couldn't bring them all from Kauai. This is one of them, What Makes a Baby. In this book, there is no babies anymore. There's no men, there's no woman. There's bodies with uterus and bodies with a sperm. They are removing the word men or woman. Red is for kindergartners. It's a book that's selling kids they could be on the wrong body. This is for three years old. They could be in the wrong body. In the wrong body. This is for 10 years old. 10 years old, you guys. It's perfectly normal. Ah, oh, isn't it crazy? It's not. 10 years old? Whether it's heterosexual or homosexual, it's I don't completely care. Irrelevant. I don't care. This it's is not for a, this is not for a ten year old, you guys. Anybody have children here or cakey? This is not okay. Okay. <sighs> this is gender queer. This, sorry, you guys, but this is. I'm going to show it to everybody. She's just, oral yeah, sex. She we have to be showing this kids section in the library, and this is in the schools. This is in the schools. Mm -hmm. Is this okay, you guys? I'm sorry. I'm a mom. Your boys. This shouldn't be seen by little kids. So I know that the, the representative left, but please show them. Right. This is what library. library. Yeah, public, 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 public library. Mm -hmm. I know, and in public schools too, dear. And if you speak against this, you say, "Oh, you're anti-gay." I'm not anti-gay, but don't be showing porn to my kids. You've seen it yourself. This is 
the tactics of Satan. They are busy indoctrinating your child in school. They are busy making your child the sons and the daughters of the demons. Look at the book, the first book, how what makes a baby. There is no more male or female, just bodies with uterus and sperm. They totally done away with the words man and woman or female and male because everywhere is confused. And look at books for your three-year-old indoctrinating them that they could be trapped in the wrong body. You see how Satan is doing systematic, how he's working on them. You know, indoctrinating your three-year-old that they could be trapped in the wrong body. Uh, you're feeding a child who doesn't have this the ability to or doesn't have the yardstick to measure right or wrong. At, at that age, whatever you give them is correct. Whatever you tell a child, that's what he believes or she believes is true. And at that age, Satan is busy telling them that they could be trapped in the wrong body. And this is the sex education that you yourself approve that they should be teaching your children in school. Sex ed. Oh, you want to train them to be wise? So that I'm, I'm yet coming to make some video on those sex ed again. Just have not had time. No, yeah. No, let me train them so they be wise. So that nobody will, pre, will, 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 will take advantage of our children. You are dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. In fact, you are a moron. If you allow them to teach your child sex education in school. This is what they are teaching your child. You keep quiet and do nothing about it. You're busy chasing dollars. They are teaching your three-year-old that they could be trapped in the wrong body. Then when they are six years, they told you, hey, hey, Daddy, I, I think I'm a girl. I think I'm, a, I'm, I'm trapped in the wrong body. And you don't even have a say. Biden and his demonic government have passed a law, the gender-affirming care. They take them straight to hospitals and mutualize your children and turn them to confused human beings until they die. Also, look at the book that I give your 10-year-old. What does a 10-year-old? You all grew up. You all, you all were children. What does a 10-year-old know? No wonder you did these days as a children coordinator in America. You get reports. I, 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 you get reports of 8-year-old, 6-year-old, 7-year-old, addicted to pornography. Just can't watch him pornography. They teach, look at book they are giving you a thing in public library. So if you do spend time at home to train your children, you take them to school to go and read um, at, at the library. This is what they are reading at the library. This is what they are reading at the library. And they are busy feeding themselves with this thing. Actual sex scene in books for children of 10 years old. Actual sex scene. People having sex. That's what they are teaching your children in library. And so my child is an A student. When they ask them, oh, how, what, what kind of size do you have in school? Uh, you don't even know what they teach them in school. And what they're testing them on. Hey, yo, what, how, how many genders do we have? Oh, you can be anything. And they answer what they are teaching them, what they are learning. You can be anything. Oh, you can be gender queer. You can be that. You can be whatever. And they're giving them A's. This is what they go to study in library. I say, my, my child is an A student. That's all you care about. A student. You see what they're teaching your children in school? Are you seeing what they are reading in the library? Where you take them? Also, look at the book they are teaching you. Give me your 10 year old about gender, gender queer. That means what's gender queer? Confused people. People who don't know what gender they belong to. People who don't know whether they are man or woman or they are confused. They are trans. They are everything in between. Actual oral sex scene for your child in library. Open in the library. Public library. Public library. This is what they teach them in public schools. Worse than this. Worse than this. And you, as a parent, you say you're a Christian. I don't worry about those who are not Christian, who don't even have any moral compass, compass in life. But you, you said you're a Christian, and the Bible is supposed to be your moral compass. And you think you, you have understanding of what is right and wrong. And you allow this wickedness to be done to your child. You allow this evil to be filled into the life of your child. And you do nothing about it. God will ask you of them. God will question you, except you rise up and do something to deliver your child, to deliver your children from the hands of Satan. Otherwise, you have no children and you will answer in the hands of God. I'm going to leave it at this. I pray that the Lord will give you wisdom to take actions, to spend time to train up your child. Don't go and dump them in the library so that you can sleep at home. That's what they are reading. May God help you. May God give you wisdom to do this in Jesus' name. Amen.